Welcome back to Techno Surgeon YouTube channel. So, I recently made a video where Qualcomm has announced it platform for PC gaming and essentially for Windows PCs during GDC of 2024. And as you can see, they had titled that session as Windows on Snapdragon, a platform ready for PC gamers. And now, a Qualcomm engineer named Islam Khalil Dorfom and announced laptops we use emulation to run x86 and 64 games at close to full speed and how they are doing it is like they are basically doing emulation of x64 <coughs> and the advantage is it's faster porting <coughs> the CP gpu performance is unaffected by x64 emulation and your games is should be ready to work and after the initial hit block after the initial hit block of the code is translated caching system is ex extremely efficient the limitation is like if you will it will not work if you are using a kernel driver careful of scripting and up to SE SSE4 support is not there so yeah and you can essentially port every other games to native ARM64 and yeah he says that after the initial code block is there there is a there, when there is a first block which has been translated there is a speed delay but after that it will pick up and there will be no performance affected after that point and yeah it's pretty nice and subsequent post passes are a direct access direct cache access as he says so it looks pretty nice and do know this is running on internal adreno gpus and not on external gpus next up amd has launched its 2433.1 design driver for which unlocks rx7900 gre's memory overclock limits essentially what happened is like when the when rx7900 gre first came out it had a blocker it had an overclock blocker where you can't overclock the memory on it after some point and now it has been removed by amd with this new driver and they essentially did it so that it doesn't come close to 7900 xt and xtx performance that's why they did it at that point but now they had removed it and after removing all that overclock limit it essentially gave a pretty much leverage like as you can see it is tested on 7900 gre and it has been overclocked and you can essentially overclock it pretty insanely as you can see from the stock G gre you get essentially 15 percent increase 10 to 15 percent increase which is insane to see and which is not insane but it is nice to see that you are essentially getting more performance out of it just by a driver optimization nextly horizon for Windows west pc port analysis says that another game exceeds 8 gb of system vram requirement so essentially if you are running 79 not 79 but horizon forbidden west you need more vram and it has been tested on i9 3900k with 32 gb of ddr5 and as you can see on the screen here with tom's hardware at 4k 1080p at 1080p we don't see major difference but at 4k and stuff yeah there is a massive hit at 1080p medium you don't see any performance any not that high of a performance tapes with lower cards and lower segments like here the vram doesn't matter in 1080p but as you can see when we go from 1080p to 1440p or higher at 4k the performance drop of one percent low low is pretty insane to see as rtx 4060 di 16 gb of vram configuration is able to keep up at one percent low but the one with 8 gb of vram is essentially getting destroyed with one percent low as you can see on the screen here rtx 4060 you get one percent low as 27 frames which is not playable at the current moment and rtx 4060 comes with 8 gb of vram so the analysis says that if you have 8 gb vram you essentially can't play some games at four at even 1080p high frame very high graphics because you need more vram capacity at this price point lastly amd has launched its ryzen 8000 f processors hawk point without rdna 3 i gpus as you can see they had launched 8000 f which includes ryzen 7 8700 f and ryzen 4 Ryzen 5 8400F, we don't know the configuration. It they launched also 5600GT and 5500GT. And do note, these are only in China at this current point. And Ryzen 7 is 8 core part, and Ryzen 5 is obviously 6 core part. 
But yeah, that's it for me today. What do you think about the news? Sound of your thoughts in the comment section below. Like, share, and subscribe. And I will meet you in the next one. Peace out.